In this video, I'm gonna show you why Grammarly is the best grammar checker on the market and how it can help you craft better content. Hi there, my name is Kelly Mirabella and in today's video, I want to share with you a little secret that has helped me become a better writer. You see, when we write something down, we have a tendency to use words without thinking about them or adding an extra letter here or there. <laughs> but what if there was a way for your computer to catch all those mistakes? Well, lucky for us, it is now possible thanks to Grammarly. In just a few steps, you'll be well on your way to becoming a more polished writer. Let me show you how I edit my blog content using Grammarly. So when you're in Grammarly, you're gonna go to to your new document and we're just going to paste the document that we created in here Now you can set your goals you absolutely don't have to do this but this just helps set the right tone for your article so we have for audience general knowledgeable or expert I usually go knowledgeable for formality I like to either do neutral or informal for my blog for your domain you can say academic business general email casual or creative generally I'll do general or business we're gonna do general and then you could pick your tone if you want and intent. Are you informing, describing, convincing, or telling a story? And then when you're ready, go to done. Now over on the right hand side, you're going to see all of the suggestions that Grammarly is making so that you can make your blog post or your content even better. Further along over here, you're going to see the assistant, which is going to give you your overall score for this document your goals that are set, which you just set when we came in, and then any of the suggestions here. Um, down at the bottom, you'll see your formatting tools, and you also have a readability score. If you hover, as you saw over this, you're gonna see how many words, characters, how much time it takes to read, and if you're writing scripts or podcast scripts, then it can also be helpful to know the amount of time it takes to speak this particular document. So let's start at the top. We're gonna to go over to accept four suggestions. Uh, a lot of times, if a lot of the suggestions are the same, you can accept them all at the same time to save yourself a lot of time. So we're gonna do that. All right, so now it's giving me the suggestion that instead of writing three, it's gonna say, use the letter. Now, you don't have to spell it out. You don't have to take the suggestion. There are times when I will ignore Grammarly, and if I wanna do that, I can say dismiss. I can also go in here and turn off a suggestion like this. So if I don't want them suggesting me turn numbers into spelled out numbers, I could do that. And I can also learn more about the suggestion. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. Now it's gonna make the vocabulary suggestions. And again, we have here. You wanna make sure that when you do make a change like that, you are being uh, consistent across the board. Now it's gonna give you the reason why your wording is different. I really love this because I'm able to improve my overall writing by learning as I go. Now, as you can see, as I go through this, my score here is calculating and it has already gone up. So that's a good sign. In this case, I actually want to keep the word as non-salesy and they wanna change it to non-sales way. We're gonna go ahead and dismiss this one. Now here you'll see that the sentence may be hard to follow or unclear. They will generally make a suggestion for rephrasing that. I love the suggestions, but do make sure you read through it to make sure it makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and let them rephrase. I do get this, this thing a lot about an unclear ante antecedent. Uh, basically, it's just making it so that it might not be clear in the sentence. So I'll generally go back and read the sentence before, and if it's clear, then I'll keep it as this. But if it is still kind of muddy, then I will go back and change this. So instead of saying this, I could say the YouTube formula book is hands down the best book. And there we go. So again, it's calculating. It's going to tell us how we're doing. And it says, great job. Whether you are a blogger, journalist, or business professional, the use of Grammarly is an excellent way to improve your writing. It can be used in conjunction with Jarvis.ai and Google Docs for easy editing right on the spot while still composing content. This program will also help you avoid embarrassing typos that might lead readers down incorrect paths. If you're not using it yet, then I highly, highly recommend checking out their website today.
Now, I'm not an affiliate, so I don't have any specials for you, but they do have a free version, so go check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that thumbs up button and show your support of my content. If you would like to further your writing and make things a bit easier, you may also enjoy learning about how I use artificial intelligence to write my blog content with the help of Jarvis. Check out the videos popping up on the screen to learn more.